Hi guys, my name is Richard. I'm the uh, cardiopulmonary director for Cherry Connection WW Hastings Hospital here in Tahlequah. And uh, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the uh, Philips Respironics V60 uh, BiPAP, uh, CPAP uh, machine. But for today's purposes of demonstration, we're going to kind of set it up as a pressure control ventilator. So here what we've got, they already have the oxygen hooked up and already plugged into the uh, receptor or red, red receptacle outlet. Um, here we're going to turn it on. And it'll go through this little quick check. It automatically comes on basically whatever set up last, but for them for this demonstration, we already had it set up as a CPAP. To change it over to a pressure control ventilator, uh, first off, you need to hit uh, menu, and it's going to alarm off while this, and hit mask port. And at this point, we need to change this from other all the way over where it says ET tube and trach. Uh, once you see that part, hit accept. Then it'll go to another screen, and we need to change this over where it says DEP, which is Disposable Exhalation Port. That's the top of the circle we have. And at this, hit Accept. Now we're going to Modes, and here's different modes. So for our purpose, we're going to hit Pressure Control Ventilation, PCV, and we're going to accept that. Now we're in Pressure Control. Um, we had different alarms, so we're going to re reset the alarms. Now to change the pressure pressure control for the patient depends on how much pressure you need. All you gotta do is hit IPAP, which is for your inspiratory, uh, and you can hit that and you can adjust it up and down according to the patient's need or demand to ventilate at that point in time, how much pressure you need to ventilate. So here we'll change it up to 30. Now 30 on the pressure control ventilation is quite a bit, but for this for this demonstration we'll leave it at 30. And all you do is hit accept. Your EPAP is a sense is your CPAP, continuous positive airway pressure. Um, right now it's at 10, but if you need to change it, all you can do is uh, highlight it, and you can go up and down accordingly to whatever the provider uh, has ordered. Then you hit accept. Here's your respiratory rate. We've got a rate of 16 right now, but if you need 12, all you can do is touch it, then just change it down to 12 and hit accept. In the same way for your eye time. Right now we have it at 0.95. In 0.95, if you highlight it, you can tell it's at a one to four ratio because we are on a respiratory rate of 12. We kind of like around, you know, at least one to three, depending on. So, well, if you change it down to, um, or turn it up, go, we'll find a one to three ratio. It's a 1.25, and that's a one to three ratio. We'll accept that. Uh, rise time, we normally kind of leave it at three. This one here is called a ramp, and we're going to leave it off. And here's your uh, FL2. We have it at 55%. If you need to change it, all you do is touch it and change it accordingly to whatever you need to meet the patient's uh, saturation as well. Uh, so we'll just kind of turn up to 100%. So now we're at, you know, pressure control of 30, uh, CPAP of 10, respiratory rate of 12, odd time 1.25, and an FL2 at 100%. Now this is actually be going to the patient. So let's go over here real quick and kind of show you what we need to hook up to the patient. And again, you have your uh, inline suction catheter. You have your HEPA filter, which is kind of blocks out by 99% of the bacteria that's kind of coming out. This is actually the end tidal CO2 adapter that, that will actually hook up to this, to the uh, monitors in ICU and or ER. Um, and this will just be the end tidal CO2 cavet. Actually not, that's for a different ventilator. Uh, this part right here. Uh, this would be uh, the MBI adapter and also the HME. So here we're going to hook this up. Such as this. Then we'll do your inline seal 2 Next will be your MBI. And then we'll hook up to your uh, HME. Now we'll remove this. And uh, this here will actually go to the patient. And this will hook up to the circuit itself. And there. So uh, for here, since we don't really have a HEPA, the HEPA filter, will go actually on this part right here on the exhalation side. That way it will capture all the bacteria that was coming out into the air. 
And again, we'll try to keep this patient in a closed circuit as much as possible. We don't want to break the circuit uh, if, if needed. Um, and that's basically about it for, any, uh, for the overview of it. If you do have questions, contact the respiratory therapy department and ask one of the expert respiratory therapists we have here on staff, and they'll feel free to uh, answer any kind of questions that you may have. Thank you so much.